Okay, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do uh, colored lighting in your sectors. Uh, what I've done here is I've just set up a dummy sector, my two sectors to be lit, and uh, this main sector right here, I'm going to show you how this uh, line depth can also change the color. Um, first thing you got to do is you can actually have to make a script for this one, but it's relatively easy. Um, this pound and glued right here, uh, zcom.acs, you should pretty much have that at the beginning of every script you're going to be writing because it includes all of the nifty functions. Um, then right here, script1 open just means this script will run on the opening of the map. What I've done here is uh, use the sector set color function um, and the first argument is your tag. Uh, so I've set red, which is uh, the order of colors goes red, green, blue. So uh, tag 1 is red, tag 2 is green, tag 3 is blue. Um, what I've done is I've set the dummy sector to the third tag so that it doesn't have to rebuild the color table every time. And uh, then I just went in here and said this to tag 1, so this will be red, this to tag 2, and it'll be uh, green. And this line def right here, I've set this to change the color of this main sector quite a bit, but uh, I'm just going to set it to full blue, just so you can see it. Um, it's as simple as this, really. I mean, the scripting part is very easy to do. Uh, you can just keep that script in a text file somewhere, just to make it easier to get to. But there, as you can see, now this sector is blue. Um, I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing sector colors this drastic, but if you tie in the colored sectors with deep water, you can actually make a really nice effect. Like right here, if I were underwater, this would definitely look a lot cooler than if it was just normal sector lighting and stuff like that. Um, but uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, yeah, I'll just leave this script up here so you can read it for a little bit. It's really simple, but... I usually keep this script just in a uh, in a text file in you know my my Doom folder uh, because I like to put deep water and stuff like that into my maps, so it makes it easier instead of having to type it up over and over again. And I mean this script is pretty flexible. You can modify it. You can add sector tags with different colors. So I mean you can literally have a whole array of different colors to use throughout your map in just one tiny script and all you have to do is set a sector tag and you can use sector tags over if you want to have multiple sectors, colors and stuff like that so I mean it's relatively easy to do but it can make or break your map so uh, give it a shot.